Hi and welcome to this SavernShop.com video. Now, as you know, uh, and I've said many times, is that we try and get everywhere to meet the people who are making the kit that you guys buy. And uh, only a few months ago, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting again uh, Ben Severn in a jet lagged state. And here we are down at Weymouth, and I've traveled up from Cornwall to meet up with the guru of the Severn boards, uh, Mr. James Hooper. Hello, mate, how are you doing? Good. Come over from Oz to meet us. Yeah, come over to and you look better than Ben did, because Ben was properly jet lagged. Yeah, I think I did it a lot better than <laughs> So, so uh, we're here to talk about Severn boards, of which you can see two behind us. We'll tell you a little bit more about that in a bit. And uh, so, tell us about what you've done. I'd never even heard of you until they started building Severn boards, and I heard about this guy, James Hooper, who was going to be building boards, and I'm like, who? Uh, so, but you've been doing it some time. Yeah, quite a while now. Um, I started off with my own brand of new boards. Yeah, um, which I have heard of. Yeah, heard Didn't of know it was you, but I heard of them. Yeah. Um, our main board with that was the Chopper, which was a twin fin, which then evolved into the Starboard Nuevo. Um, so you designed the Nuevo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and from then we had the, the Nuevo from there, which went to the Severn Nuevo. Yeah. Um, so once we did that change over, we would start with uh, the next one, which is uh, Nana. Okay, so and was that quite an organic thing? Have you had a relationship with Ben for some time? Is that was that happening on the beach before they went? Hold on, how about building a range of Severn boards? Yeah, well, Ben helped me a lot with the, the original chopper boards, and so we've done a lot of board work. So this is so, okay. So as far as yeah. we see, we see this as being some new project. But in fact, what you're saying is that's been around for some time, and you've yeah, been yeah. working towards this for for a while. Yeah. So yeah, we've been working on the board for a long time now. Uh, and you know, and that and that, that fits for me actually because when the board started coming out, what you guys have done have not just gone, well, okay, a freestyle wave is Formula X, Y, and Z, and we're going to do that and just put a suburban badge on it. Yeah. You've not. You've actually gone about different types of board and gone, well, how about if we do this or do that with the board? Take. The Fox, for example, yeah. you know, the, the, the V, uh, the double concave, the way that behaves in chop, which, by the way, the 95 is the best free ride board I have ever used. Back onto the conversation. Uh, but you do things differently. You're not afraid to go, no, this is what we do. And is that important to what you do? You're not just making another freestyle wave. Yeah, well, we've got designed things that we've been doing over the years that we've um, worked on, we've found that works. I guess the formula that we keep, there's, uh, I don't know if you call it a trademark, but things that I've, I've worked on a lot and uh, that can transfer it to the different boards. And I would say it's a trademark because looking at the Severn boards, if we take the Fox, we then take the Nano, we then take future boards uh, which have come out, such as the Dino, they all have a common trait uh, of having more V in them yep. than most, uh, double concave yep. in them. Uh, so those things are commonplace. Uh, so now as far as that goes, and that that gives the rider control, yeah? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's different aspects of it. So the V coming through the front of the board, yep. that's what we're trying to do there. We're avoiding rails catching. We're, um, another feature of them, they have a, um, a lot more tuck around the rail. Than, through the front section of a lot of boards. Tuck. Tuck on the right. This is um, new or not? A, what's tuck? Okay. That, <laughs> is that the bottom bit? Yeah, that's how far the, the, okay. the sharp edge on the bottom. Well, we'll cover that's that like in the next video. video. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that but again, okay, but once again, what this reinforces is that these designs are genuinely new. These aren't just a regurgitated Starboard X, Fanatic Y, RRD, whatever. You know, the, these designs generally. Uh, and I've tried now the Fox and the Nano and the Dino actually, uh, and each one is a new flavour, and that's what I, for one, love about the boards. Uh, uh, and uh, so, moving forward, where do you see this going? Where do we see this going? Well, we've got another a bunch of other projects that we're working on at the moment. So this isn't will... just a one hit. Yeah, you know, James, we're going to get together for six months bang out a few boards and that'll be it. No, we've, we've been doing a lot of developing and things behind the scenes that you may not see. But, um, so we can look yeah. forward to uh, your designs on yep. Severn boards with yep. the new construction which we haven't covered. 
which I think is absolutely excellent. Yeah, Quality yeah. for sure is up, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And what I admire about you guys is the time you spent making sure that was absolutely right, not just okay, but I admire you for that. The boards are coming out super quality. Uh, so on the next video, we will cover a few specific boards, but James, thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming over to the UK. I hope that gives you an insight into the background behind Severn boards, the guy who designs them and how long he's been designing them. James, thank you very much for joining me and talking to me. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, you, you deal with jet lag much better than me. <laughs>